Okay, so I'm gonna be doing the outfit that goes with the makeup look as you guys can see. Um, I forgot to record this like earlier today, so sorry, I have to record it now so I can put it in the beginning of this <laughs> video. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit that I think goes with the whole beautiful creatures look and it kind of resembles the outfit that she has in the movie Emma, Emma uh, God, how do you pronounce her name? Rossum? Rossum? I don't know. Emma Rossum. Um, she kind of is wearing like a style like I have on right here. I got it at TJ Maxx and it was $29.99 at TJ Maxx. And then the stockings I have on I got from H&M. And I think they were $5.99 or something like that. And I got those like, I don't know, like a year or two ago. <laughs> I don't really wear stockings. So the ones I have, I, ha I keep for like a long time because I wear them maybe once or twice a year and that's it. Um, and then the heels that I have on, I got from JustFab.com, I think last year in October or November. I don't really remember. But um, anyways, I hope you guys like this outfit. Um, I'll back up to show you guys the dress. So that's the dress. That's what it looks like. And that's the back. So it kind of like leaves it open a bit right here. And it zips up right here. And then this is the front. And I'll back up so you can guys can see the shoes. So those are the shoes. Actually, let me lower this just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so yeah, these are the red heels right here. I hope you guys can see them. <laughs> and then this is the dress. Um, it is like a, I don't know if you guys can see, but like a flowy type dress, which I do like. And it has like, this mesh material right here. And then underneath, it's more of like a, I don't know, like silk kind of material or polyester. Um, and then the top right here is lace. This is lace on the sides and the back, it's lace. And then right here is more of like the mesh type of material. And then I put a um, necklace on. It's just like a purple amethyst rock necklace and then my nails I got done I think like a week week and a half ago a week ago sometime before Valentine's Day um, but I got my nails done and I was gonna put earrings on but since my hair is like covering my ears anyways there's just really no point to put earrings on but um yeah anyways i hope you guys liked this outfit um i really really love this dress i'm probably gonna wear this dress when my husband gets back from afghanistan you know because it is pretty nice and sexy and we're probably gonna go out when he gets back but um let me show you the heels up close that's what the heels look like it's like snake skin and it's like tied up like a corset which i love well other than that i hope you guys like this outfit to go with the makeup look and um, yeah, I'll let you go ahead and get into the makeup tutorial part of this. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hi everybody, it's me Natasha. So um, today I'm going to be recording the Beautiful Creatures look um, based off of, well, the movies, The Beautiful Creatures. Um, I got a couple pictures from like Google um, of the makeup. So, I mean, it's not going to be exactly like their makeup in the movie, obviously, but I wanted to I wanted to create a look inspired by beautiful creatures, um, if that makes sense. Here's a couple pictures. I got this one of Emmy Rossum and that one. So, uh, let's just get started because it's probably going to be a really long tutorial. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to take is my um, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my Sigma Concealer F75 brush. And I, I'm, I use this because I have nails and if I dig in there, it's going to go inside the nail. So I have to use a brush. Otherwise, you could just use your nail. So I'm just going to put this all over the eye as base. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to take um, Max Black Track. And it's what it is, it's just a cream um, eyeliner. 
like gel eyeliner or whatever. Looks just like that. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take a regular brush. I'm gonna use this one by Urban Decay and it's just called the Shadow Brush. I think it came in one of the Naked palettes. And I'm just gonna use this as a base for my dark colors that I'll be using. So I'm gonna take this as like, I'm gonna take it up the eye up here and round it out. Now I'm gonna take some on the bottom lash line right here and um, make it like, not like a straight line, just put enough on there so when we add shadow, we can just blend it all in together. Okay, I'm going to use my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to use the color black, which is just the matte black right here. And I'm just going to put that on top of the lid. So I'm going to use my Sigma Short Shader E20 brush. And I'm not going to like rub it on because I don't want a lot of fallout. I'm just going to like pat it on. Next, I'm gonna mix um, espresso and deep purple. So espresso and then deep purple. I'm gonna mix those together and I'm gonna put it on the very top right here, like where the crease is and blend it upwards. And I'm going to use um, my Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45. Okay, next I'm gonna take a cream color right here from the Lorac Pro palette, and I'm gonna use that on the brow bone. So I'm gonna take my Bare Essentials, I think it's the angled brush, I don't know, the angled shadow brush. Just any angled shadow brush like this will work. I'm gonna take that cream and put it right in here. because it didn't look like she had shimmer or anything. So. Next, I'm gonna take a pencil brush like this and I'm gonna go underneath my eye area and kind of like just smudge that black out. So I'm gonna take a, um, I don't know, I guess Sable, Deep Purple, and Mauve from the palette. And I would recommend that you not put your foundation on um, before you do this eye look. Like I would do it after the eye look. Okay, and then I noticed that she doesn't have the inner corners actually like, you know, 
she didn't go all the way in the inner corner right here. So I'm going to remove that part. I know it looks crazy right now, but don't worry, it'll be cleaned up. <laughs> I'm going to blend up a little bit more, make it rounded more up on top. I don't think I rounded it up a bit or enough. <clears throat> So the inner corner of her eyes right here are kept pretty clean. So I'm going to um, <clears throat> go back in with the same color, the um, cream. And I'm also going to use um, light pink too. So light pink and then cream. And I'm just going to use a small brush like this to get into my inner tear duct. It makes it easy. And I, th I think I got this from, um, what is it, Crown Brushes. I feel like I have a mask on my eyes. Yeah, I'm also going to blend out the bottom a little bit more. I'm going to go in with a taupe color though, which is this one right there. Okay, so now I'm going to use this color for my um, Inglot eyeshadows right here. Because um, in the picture, she looks like she has a bit of like a pink or burgundy type color on the very top. So I'm going to put that color right in here. And I'm going to do a little bit on the bottom too. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and put the um, put false lashes on. I'm going to go really thick on top because her lashes on top are super, super thick. So, um, let me go ahead and put those on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to take um, my Too Faced eyeliner. And um, it is a waterproof eyeliner. It's the Perfect Eyes waterproof eyeliner. And I love this eyeliner. It works so, so good. It's like amazing. So I'm going to go in the bottom. And it seriously just like glides on like butter. Next I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. And I'm going to use my eyebrow palette by MAC. And this is the color charcoal brown right here. And then vanilla. I'm not going to use vanilla obviously. But I'm going to use chocolate brown. And in the picture, um, her eyebrows are filled in right here and then not filled in at all really right here at the ends. So I'm just going to fill in this part and then leave this part pretty much bare. I'm going to take a um, brush like this that I got from, I believe, Sigma. It's just like an angled, you know, uh, eyeshadow brush. So they're pretty much like that in the picture. Okay, so now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm gonna move on to my face. And because they are like so pale in the movie, I don't really have foundation that's like that light right now. Um, the lightest one I have is NC25. And I think that's in my Mac Pro Longwear. Let's see. Yeah, it's my Mac Pro Longwear. Um, this is like liquid cement for your face though. <laughs> I don't really like to wear this. But, um, I'm going to put this on so uh, I don't look so dark, you know, for this tutorial for you guys. So, 
I think I'm going to use just a foundation brush because I don't want to ruin my other brushes. Um, this foundation does stain your brushes and like it makes it almost impossible to get like the co like the color out of your brushes. So um, would I recommend this foundation by MAC? Probably not unless you're like, I don't know, getting married and you want your makeup to stay on like literally all day long. So um, it is for oily skin too. It's hard to believe that I was actually this white before. <laughs> I was really freaking pale. My god. This is crazy. So I got it blended all the way down my neck, all over my face. Now it doesn't look like they wear much bronzer in the movie, so all she has on is just like a bit of pink blush right here in this area. Um, so I'm just going to add just a tiny, 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 very, very light amount of pink blush in that area. I'm going to use this blush by MAC. And the color is Dame and it's a satin. And this is the color. And it's just a very, very light, light pink color. So I'm going to take this brush by MAC. It's an angled blush brush. I don't remember the number. Sorry. And it looks like she has just pink right here on the cheekbone, and that's it. I'm going to use my Studio Fix Powder by MAC in NC25. Just to powder my face a little bit. And I'm going to take my Sigma Large Powder Brush F20. And it looks just like that. I'm just going to dust a light powder on top. Because she looks pretty matte. No shine on her face whatsoever. I'm going to take that same foundation brush and just go over my lips real quick. I do have a chapstick on too. Now I'm going to take um, this pencil right here by MAC and it's called Subculture. And I don't have a really, really dark lip pencil because I don't really obviously wear colors like this dark. But I figured this would be like a good base to start with. Okay, so that's my base. Now I'm going to take this color called Dazzling Plum by Maybelline. And it's not so much of a matte, but it'll work. I have to look at the picture and make sure that and make sure that they're not too skinny or too wide. I'm gonna go in with a concealer brush and take a little bit of the foundation. And then I'm gonna make my lips like skinnier on the sides. Now it does look like she has a bit of shading right here in this area. So I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer right in that area. And I'm probably gonna take the color taupe and do it with the color taupe from the um, Lorac Pro palette, which is right there. And I'm gonna take my Sigma Blending e E25 brush.
And then she has shading right in here. Now the only thing that I'm missing from this look is obviously the colored contacts, which I believe are like the same ones that they have in Twilight. They almost look exactly the same. But um, without those contacts, I mean obviously the look isn't all the way completed, but I'm not about to go spend, you know, $20, $30 on a pair of contacts either. I basically did a, the inspired look um, based off of this picture right here. So I hope I did a good enough job. I hope it, it's close enough to the actual picture right there. Um, I think if I did have the contacts, it would look that much cooler, but oh well. Anyways, yeah, like I said, this is not a look to wear out on a normal day basis every single day unless you're, you are actually a gothic <laughs> or a witch maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is something that I would not personally wear out in public out and about every single day or any day really um ever so um anyways i hope you guys enjoy this look um if you have any more requests for me to do with other found like foundations other um you know uh celebrity inspired makeup looks just let me know or movie inspired or whatever um you know i find it fun to do and kind of dress up and you know get into character and stuff so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I will see you guys all in my next. Bye!